I'm waiting, Cloud. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the Sector 7 plane. Really? That tornado really did a number on the city. I thought I another reactor blew up. Which must have been caused by the tornado! Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see... Oh, over there! Oh, no. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one suspect You're right. accounted for. Ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Back over here! Get him on board! Prep for takeoff! The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble! Quick, get the camera off him! Come on, this way. Contact the SAR team. Targets have been secured. We are exfilling via helo now. Move it. We're taking off. What? Hey, turn that off. The survivors are being taken away. I can't hear you. Oh, no, I never went to you. Excuse me. Could you look after my what? friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> hey! Aerith!
Get away from her! He's got a buster sword! Zero rest! Protect the Stop. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. We've got the time. Want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah. No problem. It's cool. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. And what little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with Sephiroth. I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Sorry. No can do. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on a mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? 
finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Wu Tai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. <laughs> Got some fiends in our 12! Let's go. the other. in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Backwater is an understatement. Don't blame you for getting the hell out of here. 
How's it going over there? If you're feeling mm. tense, you could always join one of the group stretching sessions. Investigated. Can only imagine what their lives must be like. Shard Sangan, a humble traveler of the world, and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Hmm. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Ah, hello there. All our rooms are reserved for you, Shinra boy, so take your pick. You'll find them just a... Huh? No. Cloud? My, my. Get a load of you. And you've only been away a couple of years. Traveling with the Sephiroth now? Okay, Mr. Big Shot. Traveling with the Sephiroth now? Okay, Mr. Big Shot. Hmm. Is that you, Cloud? Uh, the survey team is the coolest. Man, why didn't I enlist like everyone else when I had the chance? So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away, and all that. Uh-huh. Taste of home before you go. Wait a minute. Is that Cloud? Silly boy. You should have let us know you'd be paying us a visit. Eat up, Cloud. You still got room to grow, you know. You remember these pork sandwiches, don't you? They're exactly like the ones Mrs. Tyler used to make. I'm sure you must have taken them as snacks on a play date before. Wait. Did you go on any playdates? Sephiroth's in there right now. I'd kill for a shot of him. But I should probably wait till later, huh? Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Everyone, please calm down. Huh? You went to my place? I figured you might be there.
Remember my cat? Her name was... Fluffy, I think? Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. You went into my room? I did. You went through my stuff? If that's your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing. Yeah, me neither. Come on, Cloud. I know you better than this. Did you actually play it? You could have just left it alone, you know. Ugh. What were you even thinking? Yeah, uh, don't quit your day job. Then I stop by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time, and last. Hmm? I'll be right there! <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home! Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of 
course, I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> that most of them had to do with you. Hey, bro, let me get a good look at that sword. You worked out with everyone? Just for a bit. Could you keep up? Wanna join us for some zonga size? Well, as I live and breathe, wow. I'm gonna grow my hair long like so much. Really? Yeah. 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 Take a rest up for tomorrow. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. I can only imagine what their lives must be like. Please, everyone, give them space. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right. We'll do. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. I was too excited, too nervous. It was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir, <sighs> I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't... Dad! Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? Uh, there? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were. Later. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. 